In this video, I'll show you how to be one step closer to having the fastest website available using Amazon Web Services. Amazon Web Services is the safest choice when choosing where to host your website. Netflix, Spotify, Facebook, and Twitch are all hosted on AWS. The problem is, the service is so technical and complicated, there's literally tutorials that span tens of hours just to teach the basics. So I'm going to keep it very simple. That means forget coding, forget server setups. 221, 222, 223. Basically, I don't want for you to feel like you're doing a lot of useless work, get discouraged and quit. And I lost count again. Cut him. So first, click on the link in the description. This will take you to Scala Hosting. Now, if you would click here, there's actually an option to buy AWS Hosting. What's the catch? Scala Hosting is actually a partner of AWS. That means they can buy servers from Amazon and set it up for you without you having to do any of the hard work. There are other companies that offer this feature as well, like Cloudways, but the prices are twice as high as Scala Hostings, and you pretty much get the same server anyways. Once you've decided on a plan, choose your region. Now, you want this location to be close to your user base to physically reduce the distance information needs to travel. Finally, save an extra 10% off your order by using Emmet 2021 at checkout. So after making your payment, be a little bit patient because Scala Hosting is now actually getting your web hosting server from Amazon and they're configuring it. You'll get an email once that's done. Click the first link and just create the login information that you'll use to log in to your server. After that, you'll need to log in and here you go. You're now inside your AWS server's control panel. It's time to create a website. Just click on create a new account. Type in your website name, I'll use tech2stream.com. Think of a username and password for this website. Since you can host multiple websites using the same server, you'll need to create separate login information for each website that you host. As for the server resources, I'll go for the unlimited option. Okay, since I bought my website name elsewhere, I'll show you how to connect that website name to your AWS server. You'll only need these two values called name servers. First, log into your account where you bought your website name. In my case, it's Hostinger. Navigate to the DNS or domain area and simply change these two values to the ones your server gave you. Here's your hosting lesson of today with Professor Emmett. If you make changes to your DNS or domain name systems or name servers, it will take around 20 minutes for the changes to take effect. So I don't want to hear any, uh, you broke my website until you wait the full 20 minutes. Then you can go and write angry comments and we'll try to fix the problems. We now have an AWS server created and a website name connected to it. So I'll now show you all of the important stuff you need to do to make sure your website is fast and secure. Next to your website name, click on Actions and then Manage. Scroll down to the bottom and find the WordPress Manager. Think of the username and password you'll use to log into your WordPress dashboard and you can select if you want any plugins pre-installed. Finally, just click on Install WordPress and it will be done automatically. Once the installation is over, do not rush to access your website. What I'm about to show you might increase your website speed by around 10% with just a couple of clicks. I'm talking about switching the PHP versions. Ooh, spooky. Navigate to PHP Manager and switch from the default 7.4 to the much newer 8.0. Look at this, same website on PHP 7.4 and now on 8.0. Super easy speed boost. Next, install the free SSL certificate that's given by Scala Hosting. This will make sure your website is encrypted by adding this padlock. Also, using the S panel, you can create an unlimited amount of email accounts by going into the email accounts section. You can create custom addresses and send or receive emails in this custom inbox. And now to access your actual WordPress dashboard, it's all standard stuff. Type in slash wp-admin after your website name and log in using your credentials. Now you have an AWS server without doing any of the hard work. It's time to step up your game and learn how to secure your website for free 
by watching this video next.